Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm colouring this image in by Edward Ramos from his book Pretty Wild. I did do a flip through of this book so I'll pop that in the description below as well. So let's pop in and have a look. <laughs> So guys, uh, let's just jump in and get started. I'm going to use E04 for all of the shadow areas. Now I don't usually do this type of book, um, it's not something that I would pick up and do, but um, when I saw the images in it I thought why not give them a go, something different and um, maybe you guys uh, would really get a lot out of seeing that as well. So I'm just going to pop in and do some facial features and also put shadows all around everything that's laying on the skin. I will put a link in the description below as well with uh, where to get this book from also. So um, I've just printed this on Express It blending card and I've done it in an A5 size image so not too big and I've actually done two of these so far so I'll post the other one up as well later on. Um, so yeah hopefully you do enjoy it. We do do a lot of hair in this one um, so the hair does take the longest I think I've said that in many of my videos so uh, just uh, take your time with it and make sure that you enjoy the process as you go. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to swap it over and use my E11 to blend that out. So I'm just going over the top of the previous colour and extending this a little bit further out. So we're trying to create some depth and shadow in these shadow areas so that we have a little bit of texture and you've got depth and you've got shape in the face. So just going over the previous colour until it melts into the other colour there. Okay, so now I've got some E21 and I'm just going over the top of the E11. So we're doing exactly the same thing, we're just extending this a little bit further out and I'm trying to melt in the previous colour to this colour so there's no defined line between each of the colours. Also just while I'm doing this colour, I just want you to bear in mind that it depends on what type of paper you are using to how many um, layers that you'll be able to get on without having any issues. So I found that with some of the marker papers that I have used that uh, after a couple of sort of layers of one colour, uh, it gets a little bit stack, uh, sticky I guess um, and it won't actually take any more ink into the paper. So just be wary of that when you are doing multiple layers on things as well. So 
So I'm swapping over to E00 now. So most of the skin will be covered over with this color. I'm just leaving a slight area for highlights. So uh, making sure that the cheeks are a little bit brighter because they're higher than the rest of the face. So this is what we've been trying to achieve while doing the color uh, like this. So we're trying to achieve depth in some areas and then height in other areas. So I'm just gonna go in and cover over those areas now. And as I said, just leaving the light highlight areas left now. So the color is already starting to look smooth, but I'm going to actually do another layer because it's not uh, dark enough and deep enough for me. So once I've done this last color here, I'm gonna repeat the previous steps that I've already done. So this is E000, and I'm just going over the top of everything with this one, making sure that all of those colors are all nicely melted in together so that we've got a nice smooth transition between each colors. So coming in now, as I said, with that second layer, so I'm going to use E04 first and go into all of the shadow areas. And now swapping back over to that E11 to go over the top of that. This second layer should be a little bit quicker and a little bit easier to blend those colors together because you already have that previous layer on. So now I've got the E21 to use. So E21 uh, is going to go over the top of the E11. 
So just spreading this out a little bit further towards that highlighted area again. Some of these areas I have gone a little bit deeper this time because I wanted that color nice and dark. So I'm going to swap back over now to the E00 and finish some more of that off. So just leaving the very, very highlight areas wet now, just for the last color. Coming over the top of all of the color to the previous colors, just to make sure they're nicely blended through or melted into the previous color. And this will help to just desaturate those lines that may still be there if you haven't blended it quite enough. So now I've got that E000 and I'm just finishing it off. So making sure I go over all of the skin again and um, over the highlighted areas as well as the darker areas just to bring it all in together. So it's looking quite nice now. There's lots of depth and shadow and also there's some nice highlights in there as well. So I want to put a bit of color into her cheeks now. So I've got some R20 and I'm just coming in and flicking this marker in towards the middle of the face. So not all the way, just enough to show some nice color on there as well. Put a little bit on the eyeshadow areas as well, just to put a little bit of color in there too. And I'm making sure that I blend that edge off nicely with the E000 as well. So I'm just starting on the lip area. I'm doing the shadow areas with R59 just to do them nice and deep. So I've just made a little M shape there on the lip on the top and the bottom. I'm blending it out with some R29. So just sort of dabbing that color in there and going over the top of that dark one and bringing it out towards the lighter area. I'm left now with my R14 just to finish off those highlighted areas. I will come back in later on and put some gel pen in there just to have a little bit of white on the lips as well. If it's not quite dark enough, make sure you do go over it with the second layer as well. So I'm just doing the second layer of all those colors. So I've got R59 first, then R29 and R14. Just went over the lip area a little bit and I'm just using that E double triple zero sorry just to make sure that's pushed back in towards the lips. So I'm just doing the eyes. I'm doing them purple. Um, I really love this color so just decided that they'd be nice and bright and um, we'd get some really nice pretty tones out of it. So I've got VO9 at the start. Just doing in the top parts of the eyes. Then I'm blending that out a little bit further down. I'm leaving sort of an oval shape at the bottom of the eye. This is uh, V06. And then I've got some V04 and I'm going to finish off the bottom section of the eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to put in some more darker uh, 
um, eyelashes and things like that as well and also just darkening up the pupil of the eye there as well just so that it stands out nicely. So I'm just flicking my marker out and up towards the outside of the face and I'm just going over the, the lines that were already there. I'm adding a couple in between as well just to thicken those eyelashes up a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of depth into the whites of the eye. So I'm using C3 just at the top of the eye where the eyelid overlaps the eye and I'm also a little bit on the bottom. I'm going to blend it out with some C0. And then I've just got some colorless blender just to make sure that it is nicely uh, and smoothly blended into the white of the eye. I love how at this stage that the picture's already starting to come to life and um, you can see that detail that we've just put in really does bring it to life. So we're doing some of the uh, hair now. So I'm going to start with the eyebrows. I'm, I wanted um, some kind of blonde yellow hair. So I'm using E15 for my darker color. I'm just putting that into the eyebrows now. And then I've got some Y38. Okay, so then I've got some Y17 just finishing off the highlighted parts now. So we're gonna do exactly the same colors in the hair. So starting with the E15, I'm gonna go in and mark out all of my shadow areas. So I'm gonna line all those out. I'm also gonna just make sure that I've selected little sections of hair and in each sections of hair, I'm going to create a highlight in the middle of each of those sections by flicking my marker out towards the middle of each of those sections. So you'll be able to see that as I go along what I'm um, meaning there. So just going in at the moment and marking out all of the shadow areas and then filling in the rest of the hair as we go. So make sure uh, you are flicking your marker out in towards the middle of each section to create the highlight in the middle.
Okay, so I've almost finished all of the shadow areas, so we'll be able to start doing our little flicks soon. Okay, so I'm going to flick from one side, as you can see there, and I'm just flicking up from the other side. So we're just creating that highlight section in the middle. I'm going to go across and do all of the sections of hair like this as well. Just some nice thin lines to create some texture. So you can already see some highlighted sections now. I've swapped over to some Y38 and I'm just flicking out from the edge of each of these sections again, going over the top of the E15 and just extending it a little bit further out. So when it's extended further out, you can see that the colors extended, the extended part of the color is actually lighter than un where the 15 is underneath. So this is creating that highlighted area now.
Okay, so I've got some Y17 now and I'm just going over the previous color and extending this a little bit further out. So we're almost, almost covering all of the highlight areas now. There's just a little bit of white left in between. I'm just making sure that when I do these flicks too that they're a little bit uneven so that they don't join up together in one straight line just so that it doesn't look too, um, I guess, orderly. You want it to sort of look a little bit more natural so I'll make sure that I flick some long lines and some shorter lines. So I'm going to use some E55 just to sort of bring into these darker areas a little bit more just to have a little bit more depth through there. Okay, now I've got some E53 and I'm just going over the top of that again. So just bringing this further in towards the highlight area again and coming over a little bit of the highlight as well. So I've just noticed I've missed the ears, so I'm just filling those out now with some skin colours. So now with the hair done and the skin, it looks like we're almost all the way through that image. Uh, we've just got the flowers, the background and her clothes to do now. So um, it is, once you've done the hair and the face and things like that, there isn't usually a lot more to fill out, which means that you're already nearly there. So just finishing off those skin colors now.
So we've got the flowers to do. I've got RV99 and I'm going into all of the shadow areas here uh, or where I feel there would be shadows. So there'll be quite a few in the flower. So where the leaves, are, uh, the petals are folding over. Um, also where petals are overlapping other, other petals would be darker. So I'm just going to go and fill those areas in now. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to blend it out with the next lightest color. So I'm using some RV colors here. I wanted it pinky red colored. So um, I've got some RV29 to go over the top of this. So I'm just going to go over those previous colors and extend them a little bit further out. So I'm using that RV29 first. So just going over the top of that color and just bringing it a little bit further out towards the white area. It is quite a small section, so quite tiny. So um, you do just sort of need to be a little bit careful by using the tip of your marker rather than the side just to keep those lines nice and thin still for you.
Okay, so I've got some RV25. It's really hard to read on that marker because it's black. Um, but I'm just going over the top of the previous color and extending this further out. So there isn't a lot of room, as I said. So I'm trying to keep my marker straight and using the point there so that I can um, just get those lines nice and thin. So I've only got a tiny little bit of area left now. So I'm using RV23 and I'm just coming over the top of those previous colors and popping this into those whiter areas. Some of them still have a little bit of white on them, uh, but I'm going over most of these areas now to fill them in and smooth and blend out the rest of the color. So you can still see some depth and highlight through them uh, because we've put in those darker colors first. So just starting on the leaves here um, and the other plant things hanging off, I started with the G09 and changed my mind. So I've got G29 first um, because it's a little bit deeper and darker and it really does make those shadow areas deeper. So I've gone in with that first and then I'll come back in over the top with the G09. So now I'm ready for that G09. I'm just going in over the top of the previous color and extending it further out. So I used the color to go in and line all the veins of the leaves and also any of the shadow areas that I wanted to make there as well. So the next color I'm blending out with is G07. So just going a little bit further out. So I've only got some tiny little um, white areas. I'm gonna come back in with some G14 and fill those out there. So I've created the depth all the way out to the highlight. So that's lastly the G14. I'm just finishing off those leaf areas now. So 
So with that done, I just wanted to do the clothes. So I'm using some black here to do some lining of the clothes, um, just straight black. And then I'm going to put some purples through there to match up with those eyes there as well. We're going to put some pinks in the background around her just to give her a little bit of a soft background as well. So using the black at the moment, So same colours as in the eyes, I've got VO9. So now I've swapped out that one and I'm going to bring back in the V06 and do a little bit further out towards the highlighted areas. Okay, so we've got VO4 for the last color coming in there now. Now, I, um, guess what? I was running out of another marker again every single tutorial I do. Uh, this one was the uh, VO6, so uh, it was running out. I did have to put a little bit of clear in there just to push the rest of that ink down so I could finish off the picture. So I'm just finishing this off now, going into the highlighted area and making sure that I put multiple layers on to try and melt in the color uh, with the darker color there. So I've just got to do the um, background in a moment, which we'll go over. I'm just sort of going over this a little bit more with the VO6 that I had left there, just to make sure that was nice and blended in as well. So she's looking amazing now. So something just to finish her off would be a nice, soft, subtle background. So I'm going to put in some pinks in the background there just to sort of uh, make her sort of stand out from the background a little bit. I'm also going to do some white gel pen uh, around as well to put in some highlights and some sparkles in her hair and things as well. So I'm going to use the RV23 first and I'm just going in. I'm just going to put like, a, I guess, a small extension from her silhouette around the outside of this. Um, I'm not going to be very neat about it. I'm just going in nice and rough just to keep a little bit of texture in there as well. So I've got some RV21 next and I'm just going over the top of that previous color and just uh, extending this further out. So I'm kind of flicking my marker a little bit on the side here to help blend that through. That means that the color would be a lot darker where I first started the first color. So just coming in and flicking that out towards the edge now.
I'm going to use the RV000 just to blend that a little bit further out now. Extending this all the way to the edge of the picture. So overall I was quite happy with that. I just wanted to go back in with that RV99 and just deepen up all of the shadow areas in the flower. I think they sort of desaturated a little bit and they needed to sort of pop a little bit more. So I've just gone in with that colour just to deepen that up. So once I've done this, we'll be coming to the end. Uh, I've just got the little white um, highlights to put on. I just use my white gel pen. I've popped a couple of dots around in the hair to make it look a little bit sparkly and also done the eyes and the lips and things that I mentioned earlier on. Making sure that I also highlight some of the flower areas as well just to show a little bit of a sparkle and shine on those as well. So um, that's everything for today from me. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, uh, please like the video. Uh, also too, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, you'll get notifications when I do upload new videos. So I just want to thank um, Edward for this beautiful image and um, I'll pop all of the links in the description below as well. So guys, thanks so much for watching.